that we're back in a while. Okay, um... <clears throat> See you later. It's time to do some warrior leveling. The Fury Warrior. Hi, Lady Opal. Let's work on her. Getting her up. So, we got some quests here. Let's go ahead and do our... We're back in a while now, so we're doing our lovely walking all over the place. Not a problem. Let's get rid of this. Got some food here, which is fine. Let's turn these two quests in. Actually, I got three quests. Might as well turn all these quests in. And let's see if we can get ourselves up to maybe doing a little Dead Mines action. Get myself a cruel barb or some sort of a decent weapon to go with, you know, to go with my shield here. I, you don't get dual wield, I guess, until level 20, so the goal today is to try to get to level 20. We'll get close to it. And, uh, that would be good. Good. It's good. Let's modify the volume here. I don't really want to have to sit here and listen to the volume of the game over. And make chat in the way. Um, looks like my quest is in here. Deliver, continue to Stormwind. Okay, grab the follow-up quest to go to the Griffin Master. Let's head into the quest here. Warrior's training. Also. Hmm. That can't be in here, huh? I guess it is. I would have thought it would have been in here. Harry Bullguard. You have a trip with me, hi lady. Oh, well, you look tough on the outside, but let's see if you can handle a few mugs. Yeah, I can teach you, but first I want to see what moves you have already. Go with honor, friend. Yeah. Be with you. What can I do for you? Or a prissy thing like you doing the pig whistle. Be careful, you might. Why are you crazy? You don't really get this money to pry from my cold, dead fingers. <laughs> I guess we gotta. buddy. Let's do a little bleed action. Yeah. You're a lot tougher than you look. Of course. Okay, here's my... Let me finish. Uh, let me finish. What's it? Courage. Blah, blah. You've learned a few moves, but you could still use a decent one. But I bet if you spoke with Marshall Hire, he could help you. Listen to the men in Elmwood Forest, East Vale, Hoover Camp. Okay. Light bless you. Now we gotta go to East Vale, East Vale Lumber Camp. Ooh, I learned new abilities: defensive stance. Nice. So we've learned defensive stance. <laughs> And uh, Sunder Armor and Taunt, some more tanking test stuff. So let's go into here. And we're going to put our defensive stance. Uh, hmm. Shift. Okay. And we've got our battle stance. What's our defense stance? Defensive stance is going to decrease damage taken by 10. Alright. So what we're going to do is going to keep buttons, make sure character specific. Bottom left. And we're going to do control space bar. So it's just space bar is battle. Control space is the defensive stance. What other abilities do we learn? Let's see. We also learned taunt. Which is always my my T key. So there on T. And we also learned Sunder Armor, which is a great way to get threat. That will be our three. Okay, cool. Now we need to 
head over to Elmore's task. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. But yeah, looking forward to maybe playing Bless Online. Chronicles of Illyria should be interesting. You guys should check that game out if you haven't heard of Chronicles of Illyria. It's still in development. Also, Ashes of Creation. The problem I have with Ashes of Creation is the fact that they're doing the node development in Ashes of Creation where you, in a certain zone, you do different things like gather resources, complete quests that are... All those those experience goes towards developing the node, which makes the you know creates eventually like a village, which goes to like maybe a town, which can go to like a city. The problem I have with that game is that it really is a PvP based game, in my opinion. I mean, you're promoting a lot of people ganking and trying to take over nodes or destroy nodes, and then when you travel, when you move your your, your resources from town to town to try to sell them. Your your envoys can be attacked, and that is also promotes more PvP, which I think is fun. I mean, I, obviously, I think PvP is fun, but if you get to the point where the whole game centers around just open world ganking and PvP, you're gonna you don't always, in my opinion, end up with a game that promotes a a healthy, friendly environment and promotes more of a, a kind of elitist, you know, because PvPers, like hardcore PvPers, they're pretty acidic. They're not generally a, a nice crowd. It's just the way it is. They're usually a bunch of 15, 25 year old kids that are want to flash their e pains and say, I, I kicked your ass, you know, look at me. And I don't think it fosters a very fun environment unless you're that type of person, which is fine if you are. That's, you know, if you want to do that. I mean, I used to play on a tournament, and I was one of the better players probably in, in the U.S., to be honest, and, but I didn't really taunt people, or I just came in and said, let's go, <laughs> let's go. Um, but anyways, I, I think that, that Ashes of Creation has the potential to be a good game. Um, I, I'm not real confident that it will turn out that way as far as a long-term game that that sustain, has good sustainability, uh, but we'll see. I think that the guys are, that are trying to make the game are extremely dedicated. Oh man, did I go on the wrong side? Oh no, this is just going to the Griffin. Um, I think they're extremely dedicated, and that they definitely are going to work hard to make something that that is good. But I think they're. I think. I don't know. We'll see. If, if that's the niche they're looking for, if they're looking for that little uh, area of the crowd or just trying to get PvPers to ride a Sentinel Hill, then, yeah, they could be successful. But I was watching a, another YouTuber, and I can't remember his name, so I must apologize, but uh, he was watching him, and, and he was saying, let's face it, most of the... Well, you can look at it two ways. A lot of the most successful... MMOs were based on PvE, not PvP. I mean, World of Warcraft, there were more PvE servers, and and when it was really big and had 12 million some subs, more people were playing on the PvE servers than they were playing on PvP servers, so there's definitely more of a market for PvE players, or if you want to call them casuals, or whatever you want to call them. I don't really call them casuals, because some of the PvE raids and stuff in Original WoW were very difficult, you know. Burning Crusade, you know, Mike Theradon, some of, the, some of them were pretty tough. Oh. oh, but then some of the most successful games out there right now are the esports games like Overwatch. And I played Overwatch, and I was really good at Overwatch. I was top ten, top five percent in fair in the U.S. But I quit because they kept, Blizzard kept changing the the abilities of the of the, of the classes, um, taking away Farah's ability with the rockets to, to knock to the knockback. I just I just don't understand that concept. I don't understand why you would do that. It's one of her, the things that make her the best, you know, more enjoyable to play. It was one of her best abilities. And I wasn't really happy with Blizzard on that, but but that could be considered a PvP game. It's player versus player. Uh, let's go to some of this junk. Junk of Bormeat. 
flask of oil. We got tons of flask of oil. I don't need that. Car is level 17. Um, so there are games out there that are hugely popular, but they're more, you know, the whole game is based on player versus player, and then it's a team, you know, it's a team shooter. I mean, we're more just a team shooter. And so it has its own market. It's not, it's not an MMO, so I don't think you can really compare the success of Overwatch to the, the potential success of a of a all PvP based MMO because they're just a different type of genre. Okay, we seem to have gotten to level 14. Oh, so, where am I on my talents here? I'm still in the Fury Tree, so we're still going to Cruelty. Right? Which is an increased our crit chance by 5%. There seems to be a quest possible. There it is. Let's grab this quest. I'm on the People's Militia, Twice Brotherhood, Lakeshire. <laughs> mm. So he wants me to go over to Lakeshire. I still need to kill these device looters. So let's go. To, let's go kill some device. What else do we need? We still need to go to Slurry Revive. Let's go kill some device over by Moonbrook. Because we are a fury warrior of much anger and much rage. We must kill. Um, so, yeah, I, I'm not real certain. <sighs> I'm sorry, I'm not real certain that. Let's just charge this guy just so we can, uh, just so we can move forward. Kill this guy. We need some. Good. But I'm not real certain that that, that a PvP-based game like um, Ashes of Creation that has a lot of people interested in it. A lot of people are interested in Ashes. You know, a lot of there's, and I'm sure a lot of those people are PvP players. Um, so I think they have to be very careful. I'm not trying to make it too much, just for PvP focus, because there's going to be a lot of PvE players that probably aren't going to be real happy with that. Some of our buffs going here. Four stamina. These are four stamina. So, what is this? Scroll of Spirit. Use that just so it's not taking up an inventory slot. <laughs> All right, let's zoom the camera out. So, so as a creation, yeah, with the node system, I think I think the fact that you, that the caravans have to be protected, that you can hire guards to actually protect your caravan, or you can walk along with your caravan and move from city to city to protect it, is actually a, a fun idea. And I, I like the graphics in, in Ashes. Um, you know, in my game that I want to make, um, I'm, I'm still, I'm thinking, you know, I've been trying to, I've been going through some art classes, and I've been, and I've always been good at art, but I'm working on some different techniques and some different drawing classes and stuff to, so that I can do better um, concept sketches. Um, I mean, my project's going to take me years. You know, like I said, I've always said, I'll, I'll never, never know if I'll ever get to finish it completely, but it's definitely something, why am I entering combat? It's definitely something that I will be working on uh, for a long time but um, I really like the idea of creating a stylized look in our world I mean I want it to be semi-realistic but I don't want it to have to be like an extra creation or these games oh, that overpower hit awfully hard so I really like using uh, the mouse wheel down for overpower because it's very easy when you see that that the, your says that overpower is available to just really quick Mouse wheel down. I think it's a great keybind for that. Let's see, like, oh, mouse wheel down. 
and shift mouse wheel down will be my uh, will be my shock, my thunderclap. <laughs> I just slap this guy with my shield. Um, but I think that in Ashes of Creation with the with the caravans um, that could spawn some really fun open world PvP. Uh, let's go ahead and use these bandages up real quick. I think that could spawn some really fun open world PvP. How much of these heavy ones do I have? 17. We're still got a little okay. Um, but I don't know enough about the quest system or about the other things, the dungeons, raids, uh, those other types of things in the game to really say a whole lot about Ashes. Uh, oh, I was talking about the the look of the art world, the, the art world, the art world, and <laughs> the look of the world, the look of the characters in the world. And you know, the art in that is is more realistic looking, and I think it, for my game, the World of Lost Fire, what I want to do is create something that's a lot more stylized, something that will run smoothly, because we are dealing with the Unreal Game Engine, you know, I thought I'd come back and forth on whether I should use the Unreal Game Engine or use Unity Game Engine, um, and I'm still not 100% sure what engine I'm going to use, but I, I definitely want to learn both of them anyway, but the Unreal Engine does give you the ability to go with a nicer looking open world, and the t just frankly the tools I'm using, you know, the World Machine, uh, it works pretty well with, with Unreal Engine, so I'm like 90% sure the Unreal Engine is where I'm going. Uh, but trying to create a world and mountains and stuff that look a little bit more stylized and not quite as realistic is going to be a challenge, but I think it could really lend a more uh, immersive feeling or something that's more original. You know, if you go out there and look at a lot of games that are basically the Unreal Engine, open world games. And, I mean, you can sit there and create mountains and trees and valleys and they make it look really nice um, in the engine. Um, but it doesn't really give any kind of a uniqueness to it. Here we go. This is going to be... Gonna take some damage here. Casters do a lot of damage to us, poor warriors. Same thing with my paladin. Keep faith, you know. Your casters really beat you up. Um, but the problem with stylized art world is that stuff using world machine to create the mountains and to create the trees or to create the mountains, most of the terrain, it's going to have more of a kind of a realistic look. But really, it's just it's just creating. A guideline, you know, it's just creating the 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 model, if you want to think of it that way. It's just creating the model of the world, and what makes it look the way it looks, as far as realism, is really the the textures that you put. So I can still use World Machine to make the mountains and such, but it's it's really the textures that I have to create and apply that are going to give it the uh, you know that <clears throat> they're going to give it that stylized look and if you think about a stylized look I'm talking about what if I had you know the World of Warcraft has a stylized look right it's 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 not super realistic it's a little cartoony um, if I zoom in here and I look at um, the grass here you know this is this is you know it's it's got a it's a little art feel to it you know it's it's kind of, it's not really cartoony but it's not super realistic I mean look at this wood here this doesn't look like real wood uh, it's meant to look like wood, but the textures aren't in any way realistic. Uh, and so when I start doing my, you know, videos on the creation of the textures and stuff, you'll you'll see what I'm talking about. Um, but if you go to something like Wildstar, like the game Wildstar, um, and you walk around, there's like bluegrass and stuff like that, which you know, you don't see too much bluegrass in, on Earth, you know. So it's definitely a more stylized feel. My tune hits pretty hard sometimes. She can, she can, can bring some real heat. Do some pretty good damage with her overpower, that's for sure. I was hit for crits of 100. My paladin never hit for crits that high at this level. So the the fury worm definitely can do some damage. If I had the dragon buff, you know, I should probably try to get back to Stormwind and grab the dragon buff. 
Um, that would that really helps you leveling when you're on a melee class like this, low level. So, level 17. Oh, that's his pet. <laughs> I was gonna say that's pretty high level. For this, um... Ooh, did I aggro that caster? I did. Let's get away from the caster real quick. Oh shit, there's another caster. I'm just gonna try to finish this guy out. Yeah, let's take a little level potion, it's fine. I don't have any stun abilities. If I was a rogue and I could gouge, I could just bandage. That'd be super nice for a Fury War. keep your first aid leveled up as far as you can. Um, first aid is definitely going to be your friend as you're leveling Fury Warrior because you're going to be bandaging it a lot. And if I had something to pull with, like a bow or a gun, that'd be great too, but I don't, so we're just going to have to be really careful here. I've already got all the casters, actually. So let's... Tiptoe around the sides here, see if we can get some melee guys we still have, like this guy. Losers. Overpower. Ooh, 104 hit. Overpower hits hard. It really does. Keep, even though I don't think I need these, I just want to keep my rage up. So. Okay, let's go ahead and check our bandages we can make here. First aid up. I think I need consistent. I think maybe 75 to do the wool. I can't remember off the top of my head. I'm gonna guess it's probably 75. Maybe it's 80. It might be 80. trying to help that person out. I can't help it, I'm nice. I don't want people to get killed. These pillagers are all dead. Do I have any? No, I should have checked. If I have any gear that I can equip, or if I can upgrade my gear. It's really important to keep my gear upgraded. So, I mean, I only have level, a level up weapon, so I definitely want to look at upgrading my gear. Shit, this is not good. This could be a, de a death scenario here. Let me look at that. Oh, shit. I need to up. Oh, this is definitely a death scenario. I'm probably dead. Maybe not. Switch to defensive stance, take less damage. Um, you definitely want to keep mind, you know, everything, of course. But you know, in that scenario where I'm running low on health, you know, switching to defensive stance comes in handy, take a little less damage. Um, and eventually, you'll get some more uh, talents that you can use to, you know, to mitigate damage that you can do, like an oh shit macro or something. That's I always call it my oh shit macro. I'm like switch to defensive stance, throw a shield on, you know, like when I'm leveling a warrior. Uh, Fury where I would always have a, sh a shield with me and my macro would, if I'm dual wielding wet swords and I was like, oh my god, I'm gonna die, I'd really quick throw a shield on and switch to defensive stance, maybe take a potion, that kind of stuff. And, and you can uh, you can survive a lot of encounters without dying. Still need these Gortusk livers, tons of them. 
can zoom out the camera a little bit. Let me check my inventory. See, so yeah, I do want to go and and um, maybe look at maybe trying to upgrade my gear a little bit. Let's see, battle stands. <clears throat> I can't charge while I'm in defensive stance. Let's see if we can get a couple, a couple livers here. Okay, we didn't get any. That's fine. Lots of gore tusks. So the sir pop is still it's still pretty good here, um, but it has gone down a lot. But six thousand is not bad. Six thousand is pretty good. But I was on last night just for a couple minutes, and it was like twenty five hundred. And I was gonna get a little concerned the population is dropping too much in this realm, but it should still be pretty pop. It's still the most popular, I think, of the middle server. I went on to Chronos three, and it, it definitely wasn't. Do I need this? Let's grab it anyway, just in case I need it for that quest over at Lakeshire. I think that's the Greater Cortex, though. Um, I went to Chronos 3, and it didn't seem to be that crowded. Uh, so, I don't know. Black Spike, Server Spike. Still up. Couple of powers. I can only do overpower if the target dodges, which apparently these boars dodge, dodge a lot. So it's been proccing a lot. Is it is nice um, with the, with the warriors. I can easily go into protection stance and 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 tank. I could actually tank stuff even though I'm fury built. Um, it's pretty easy just to go into protection because I have all the abilities. I've got taunt. I've got sunder. I've got thunderclap. I have all the abilities that I need to make myself a good tanking class. So that's the nice thing about about the warrior. So you can be leveling uh, fury and still probably tank fairly efficient effectively. There's a lot of boars around here. Goes to level 60. Not sure what they're doing here. Sixty. We got cute faith to sixty. And now it's Opal's turn. So having a hard time getting those grotesque nivas. Honestly, I probably have some on my banker. I probably should check instead of just killing all these miles. But killing miles is good XP. So. Actually, I was in the emergency room the other day because I, my arm went numb, my right arm went numb, and then my left arm went numb, and it freaked me out. So I went to the emergency room, and it turned out there's nothing wrong with me as far as, you know, when something like that happens, you think it's possibly, you know, heart-related or something. There's nothing wrong with my heart. <laughs> they checked out my heart and everything. Everything looks fine. Um, so it must be some sort of, you know, be me sitting in the computer all the time programming. It's probably some sort of pinched nerve in my neck that's causing the problem. Um, so I got out and was out in the real world walking around and just taking a break from the computer. Because I do tend to spend too much time on the computer. So 
So, but yeah, my, my rotation's here. Ooh, I just picked up another mob. Right, my rotations are pretty simple. I like to charge, get a bleed on them, uh, get a rend up, and then just hit, you know, auto attack until my heroic strike is up, and then spam heroic strike. Um, sometimes I'll throw in a thunderclap. If there's multiple, there's multiple targets, I'll throw in a thunderclap. But the rotation is pretty simple. And then I'll use my bandages as much as possible to bandage up, so I have to reduce downtime from eating and drinking and all that. In this case, though, I'm probably going to eat just because I want to get my uh, well, get my food, my uh, buff, buff back up, my food buff back up. Um, let's take a look at my inventory. I don't see any other buffs. I guess one's a buff food. My swiftness potion. Thought I used them all. I guess not. Let's throw this over here. I'm not really doing any professions right now. I'm just trying to level pretty quickly, and then we'll deal with professions later. Just you know, other than just you know, leveling up first aid. So I just need one more device looter. This one's already tagged. Let's go ahead and see if we can... I know there's probably some down in the basement here. Disarm me, you bastard. Defensive stance. Nah, defensive stance, I don't have any abilities to use, so that sucks. Ooh, overpower. Yes, overpower. Okay, so this quest is complete. And I probably wasn't smart enough to change my hearth to the uh, silicone chair. <clears throat> when you come over here, it's really probably a good idea to make your hearth uh, South Shore, or uh, South Shore. Uh, damn it, damn it, damn it. Sentinel Hill. You should make it Sentinel Hill. That way, right here, I could have just hearth the Sentinel Hill, but now I've got to walk all the way back, which is. But, you know, again, when you're walking back, go ahead and look to kill stuff that's part of other quests you need. So, <clears throat> so as I'm walking back, <clears throat> sorry, my throat's a little rough today. As I'm walking back, I should try to kill some boars. Uh, if I was close enough to Murlocs, I'd kill Murlocs because I know I need a few Murloc stuff. <coughs> mm, sorry. So let's just uh, take a look here. We'll just kill some boars on our way back. This guy's also killing boars, so the bastard. Paladin, and I just hate paladins. <laughs> I'm kidding, of course. I love paladins. Oh, thank you. Mm. How generous. There really aren't the only classes. Uh, there aren't any classes I dislike. And wow, I think they're all great classes. That's one of the reasons why it's such a good game. Um, I don't really enjoy the warlock that much. <clears throat> I've never enjoyed <clears throat> managing the Warlock's path that much. I enjoy Hunter a lot more than a Warlock, but Warlocks are a really good class, though. Extremely powerful. Fantastic in PvP. Yeah, I want to see. <sighs> Sorry, I just woke up. That's all. They're almost in any expansion. The uh, Warlocks are very strong. Let's play that. Gore Tusk. Let's take this guy out. I 
looks like my sound's a little loud. Let's knock it down one. stop this video because I'm going to try to upgrade some of my gear. Um, it's time level 14. Um, I got level 8 pants, level 4 boots. I mean, there's got to be some better stuff I can get. Level 2 bracers, <laughs> level 11 chest, level 11. So let's uh, see if I can upgrade some of these things. It's going to make questing much easier. If you have the ability to upgrade, if you have another tune that's high level, definitely want to keep your gear. Uh, you know, we kind of want to upgrade every 4 or 5 levels. It'll really help your level a lot quicker. Let's go ahead and vendor some of this stuff, though. Um, that looks good. All right, I will check you guys back in a bit.